Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here. So, today let's continue playing as Imperial Mexicano as we try to finish off the Republic of the Rio Grande. But anyways, we have quite a few comments to get through at the current moment. So, uh, I the first question. Can, can we have flamers and explosions or, or frag grenades at the same time? Unfortunately, no, at least at the current moment, because it's mutually exclusive with grenades. So, I'd love to have both heavy incinerators as well as grenade machine guns at the same time. That sounds really awesome. But unfortunately, the mod developers said, not today, maybe some other day. Cool. Um, yeah, I definitely forgot about some of this stuff, maybe. Um, I need to obviously get more resources with more, of course, resource efficiency gain or... Resource gain efficiency. Maybe I have slight dyslexia. I don't know. I uh, could probably do some more stuff with purification. Power stations. I definitely need more power stations. Yeah, I could probably do that. Um, regarding other stuff, yeah, I still need to do automated harvesting. I have done most of these for irrigation, crop rotation, industrial fertilizer. Since we do have a lack of manpower, we are mobilizing a little bit more manpower currently, though. Um, yeah, house, huts and houses under excavation. That was the main one. Tribal huts... This doesn't give you any more population now. It used to in the old mod, the old you know version of this mod. <clears throat> but that has kind of been replaced with other stuff. I mean, obviously the industry stuff is important. But uh, yeah, they've definitely moved it around to something else, I think. Yeah, I think it was just this line, the organized agricultural stuff for more monthly population. But regarding core, since we retook a lot of land from our former brothers. Or well, they're still our brothers, but now they're dead. Really dead. As far as we know. But we do eventually get cores on all that territory. For example, Pretenders to the Crown, Tlaloc Lair becomes a core, even though I already made it a core. Uh, breaking the general, activate demand and rifle territories. Well we've already killed off Santa Anna. Death to the traitors, Maximilian understands Zapata, so that goes after Zapata, which we've already done. And an end of human sacrifice against Moctezuma. So all those all three of these really should be bypassed as soon as we get to Pretenders to the Crown once we finish off the Republic of the Rio Grande. Next up is All in the Family, which means we we get a bunch of states that are then cores for us. And then we will be known as the second, second Mexican Empire. Now that's awesome. It's not the 22nd, but the second, second Mexican Empire. The SSME. There's the SSME. Whatever it is. And then, of course, Reunite the South and uh, grant claims on all of Mexico. But anyways, we are currently in the middle of a war. No, I do not need console commands right now. What are you doing, Mr. Mocha Lover? So, really my plan right now is to slowly at the moment let time go on and let the crazy Dante Guerra attack me like crazy as I attack him like crazy over here in the east. Because my robots, well actually robots are defending the entire border, but my offensive robot army is doing a great, great job against these fake d democratic people. Cool. Lee Robert Edwards. Holy... Oh, this is about initiative. And they actually have a little bit of a bio about this guy, huh? Oh, now it's replaced by Miguel. I guess Miguel has no story behind him. That reminds me of the... Oh, this guy's learning a lot of things. About the bios that they put in Kaiserreich. Detailing the generals and the field marshals about the history of themselves which is awesome 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 let's get a little, slightly a little bit more monthly population and recruitable population factor and then get pre-war tools nice so yeah i've already told these guys to move up and take these guys out they're already moving in which is great everyone else just hold for your dear god darn lives as the southern border i hope it'll hold I hope it'll hold it some places, but it looks like they're done exercising. They're moving forces around. If anything, please, Chichen Itza, go to war with Honduras or the Vice Royalty. I don't care if the Vice Royalty gets taken out at the current moment, just because I'd rather see them go under than me. So, yes, I am selfish for my own self, and it's going to stay that way. Awesome. So, it looks like those soldiers I quickly deployed earlier in the end of the last video actually proved out to be a very, very good decision for us. Uh, let's get some more encryption. Because they like to attack this area with two t from two tiles. That's good. I actually might increase this to come down here as well just in oh, case. Because there's only one division defending here. I'm going to make sure that they're okay. Cement and concrete. More construction speed. More factory repair speed. Awesome. Um, yeah. 
Let's see, what else do we need? Research speed? Screw it, why not? We could always use more research speed. On the right, we took Armageddon Est Estacion. Probably just Armageddon Estates or something like that. Just, you know, continue pushing. These guys don't deserve what they've been given, and we will make sure of that. And now everyone can pierce each other. Which kind of sucks, but, you know, we can pierce them as well, so... I just have to be cognizant of the fact that we are out of combat robots, so I... Oh, that is not good right there. We're gonna probably lose that tile, but that's okay. That actually helps us close the amount of tiles we need to defend. So that's actually okay, you know? If we can concentrate our forces a little bit better for, you know, battles, that's okay. Especially if we're attacking in the west here. And these guys always have a place to fall back to, so that's really a good thing to have. Cool, we're building a lot of forts because I've run out of other things to build in various countries, counties, whatever you call it. Go up there, you guys can probably lay some damage down, especially with support from you guys and half the support from you all. Yeah, they can kind of pierce me, but we can pierce them right back, so no worries. Oh, they're actually making some headway through here. Alright, well, maybe a slightly more worries. Slightly more worries. Um, instead of this, I think it's run its course. You come around here, you do this. All I really want is to make sure that they can't really go into our land too much. They, yeah, they'll expand a little bit maybe, but I'm doing the same thing right to them. No worries. Ooh, where are you going? Yeah, you come up here. You attack that way. Oh, it's paused. No wonder nothing's going on. Cool. Infantry versus robots? Oh, I guess infantry versus, and robots versus some infantry. That's good. Shore that up. Yeah, they're expanding just a little bit, but, you know, that's pretty much to be expected. Now, uh, regarding the lines, I think, overall, I'm going to go ahead and call an audible. I think this is probably better for us because we don't really have enough divisions in Ezra's army here to really hold the entire line by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and divert our forces to be a little bit more equal across the front. I think that'd probably be best. Because they can really pierce our forces, which isn't good. Yeah, we can pierce them, but I think this would be better for everyone. And then I can also use these infantry and robots at the same time to uh, push, if needed. Definitely if needed. Go ahead and do that. But yeah, my main goal was just to have these guys uh, just kind of defend for the most part. We'll, we'll definitely attack where we can. We do have air support anyways. And we just got some fragmentation grenades. Soft attack, hard attack, and piercing, which is good. Versus reliability and dem demolitions platoon reliability. Well, I'm not really sure how the reliability will... I mean, that seems okay. I definitely want more soft attack, hard attack, and piercing. I think that'd be really worth it. Yeah, make, give me that as fast as possible. That would be great. Yeah, do that. Yeah, other than that, I mean, obviously we're focusing very hard in the east to win. Oh, friends of the tribe, very nice. More recruitable population by factor by 6% and more division defense on core territory. Now, I want to do pretenders to the crown, but I need to own glory, which means I need to take out this enemy nation. So, next up, Mr. Gutsies. I don't need Mr. Gutsies. I need combat robots, commercial protectrons. Now, commercial protectrons are... Mr. Gutsy, Mr. Handy. Protectron 2, Protectron 1. Which one is commercial protectrons? Uh, police? Oh, yeah, that's okay. That's just basically more Mr. Gutsies. I don't exactly need that right now. Uh, we'll probably do this, though. Lessons from the French Army, at which, oh, the French Army of the Resource Wars may have been a different beast from the Army of Napoleon III, but surely they're every bit as good as Emperor's troops were. Maximilian has found pre-war data banks with a summary of the robotic tactics that he can apply to good effort. More soft attack, hard attack, and defense for our combat robots, which we actually are running out of. But I think that would be good overall. And anyways, uh, attack here. This will help maybe shore up the line just a little bit more. And I have it paused again. Oh, there you go. Actually, don't even move because we have another pe another person moving around here. Go ahead and re adjust our land. They did take a little bit of our land, but we've definitely taken more land of them than they have of us. Which is a great thing. Ezra Barnes has been wounded. Does anyone have upgrades? Any objections? Because if you, if you have objections... I'm going to tell you to go home and cry about it. Because we can't have people objecting right now. Oh, what is going on over here? Yeah, you come this way. That's better. We're losing... Oh, we might lose the... We're going to definitely lose the battle here. 
That's not good. Casualties, 275 versus 3,000. That's not bad. Uh, manpower for the Rio Grande, 31,000. That's quite a bit. But they are on all adults. Wow, all adults serve as on 45% recruitable population. Jesus. They're, they are conscripting people who are probably of middle school age. Probably. And that's okay. Sometimes you might need to conscript some middle schoolers. I would know. I, I, never mind. Never mind. Anyways, um, cool. Uh, yeah. You guys come over here. Add an infantry unit or division over there too, just in case things don't go so well for us. Good. You guys move into there. We can actually probably. Oh, we can attack this way because we have a little bit of a shared tile over here. Oh, here we go. Now they're attacking us like how you play the German Reich in Vanilla Hoi 4. You just wait until they attack you like crazy. And if they're going to start getting rid of their own experience, I might as well try to attack them too. And ha be very successful in this effort. Yeah, that'd be great. Alright, divisions, please get to where you need to be. I do not want open holes here. That is not bueno. No bueno. Um, Give me both of you guys. Give me all four of you guys. You might as well attack this way to cover up the holes that we have here. Cool. Uh, they're attacking up here. Can they pierce me? I've already asked that before. No at the moment for some of these guys. They have enough equipment that they'll be okay. So, yeah. Just kind of a waiting game. We'll get more army XP. They might push in from one division, one place to another place. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. It's really here. I'm really here to drain the enemy of the resources since I should be able to defend okay against Chichen... It's, uh, I, uh, I don't know. I am building borders, land forts like crazy. I'm also building a lot of infrastructure, too. But, yeah, a lot of forts, a lot of outposts, a lot of everything down here. Do we have, we have no, mm, we don't have that many plane air bases down here. So, that actually might be important to build down there as well. Yeah. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. And have a sip of coffee. I'm actually recording this a little bit later than I am normally, just because, like I said before, if you're on my Discord, you know, I'm a little busy. At least of today. Tomorrow might be a completely different story. I might even be busier, but I doubt it. Maybe. I don't know what the future has for any of us, but that's just merely what I am speculating. Yeah, using close air support is just so good. I love close air support so much. Or at least in... Uh, Old World Blues, and Hoi 4, Vanilla, or even Kaiserreich, or Furreich, or any other mod for Hoi 4. Basically, anything that's not Old World Blues, I almost never use close air support, just because tactical bombers have so much more range. Ooh, we'll attack us. Hmm. Faster research speed. Or do I wait? Captain of Industry. Eh, that stuff is... Oh, outposts. Outposts. Outposts and other stuff. Military. Oh, I should probably do military staff. Yeah, I need to do that. Definitely do that. Wait for that. But yeah. I forgot what I was going to say earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Can't remember now. Whatever. Um. Two. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just trying to keep an eye on each of my division's resources because we are out of combat robots, but we are doing better. We get almost five a day, which is really great. And that's why I am very, very selectively choosing where and when I will attack. Overall, Augustus Bragg, which reminds me of the fort of, of, what was it, Fort Bragg in North Carolina. I remember he was a Confederate general. Can I say the word Confederate? I don't care. Um, but, yeah, just every time I see Bragg with two Gs, I always think of that. Oh, actually, if they're attacking us, we might as well attack him in the butt. Nothing like a diversion. And can you attack? You can attack that way and maybe be successful. All right, then. Losses, they... Holy crap! 10,000! When did we lose... When did you guys lose that many? I mean, we, you've been losing some manpower for a while now. You just lost a division. They were 92, now it's 91. Holy crap! We've lost them f less than 500. They've lost 11,000 guys. What are you doing? Are you, like, putting them in the river and drowning them? That's nuts. But then again, this is Hoi 4 and Old World Blue, so I love it. Love it. Oh, just like you should as well. We should all love it. Oh, bow to our Mexican robots. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, this is a good... This is a ripe area for an attack. And help shore up some of the line for Ezra's army. Oh, yeah, we attack, and then they get pissed off, and then they attack us. And they think they're going to win, but no, not really. In the end, they're going to lose. And they're going to lose hard. Hard. Now, hmm. 
Oh yeah, now that's nice. Lessons from that French army, baby. Hmm, assembly of notables would be good. Consumer goods. Monthly population, I think, is pretty important to do. So, we will construct imperial highways. Kaiser knows nothing about road design. We are the product of Franco, Mexican, American, engineering. Ah, oh, love these countries. Let our roads reflect, er, that. San Carlos, Ciudad Valles. Valles. I don't speak Spanish, as I've said before. But I am open to learning some new things. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, guys. Guys. How much manpower do you have left? 24,000. Okay, that's a lot of manpower. But, uh... Yeah, that's not smart for your country. You're even probably out of equipment. I mean, I know I don't have a lot of equipment. I actually, I actually, I do have a lot of equipment. Because I know how to manage this stuff, for the most part. For the most part, but... Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah. Ooh, Ezra, you're falling ill. We got volatile explosives from our assault attack piercing and hardness for the dynamite divisions or support companies and then we can get a grenade rifle this just makes me want to play some killing floor now because that reminds me of the china lake or the grenade launcher that they have the m79 grenade launcher in killing floor 2 yes i have played that i play that on my playstation with some of my friends some of the time fun game fun game it's you know it's just kind of a zombie survival wave game with a lot a lot of zeds but eh, whatever it's a fun game most of the time until i rage quit but i don't ever rage quit most of the time. Uh, coffee is good. Ooh, automated, automated harvesting. More monthly population and recruitable, recruitable factor. Resources. Yeah, let's get a, little, a few more resources. Um, let's go up to robotic extraction. Let's skip 2, 3, and 4. Because the way I, I operate now is going from 1 to 5 to 4 to 3 to 2. 1 to 5 to 4 to 3 to 2. 1 to 5 to 3 to 4 to 2. I am tired. I'm kind of honest, honestly a little bit mentally drained because of all the activities I've done today, but it might be showing right now with the way I am speaking. A little more odd than usual. And that's okay. Actually, don't even don't even move. You'll get you'll suffer some attrition penalties, and I don't want that. So, because we're attacking that tile next, we're going to move up this way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you very much. Have a sip of coffee, guys. Uh, and I will do a general push eventually. Just, I want to make sure that we are very ready for that. Very ready, yes. Very ready. Very, very ready. It's only November 5th, 2281. Star log. We are kicking some other Mexican booty. Mexicans are kicking some Mexican booty. Oh, you're sick. And... Dude, that sucks. If you're wounded and sick at the same time, you can't even use your leader uh, skill bonuses almost at all. Uh, Grand Traps, Clear War, and High Chapel. Alright, well, whatever. Yeah, just keep keep doing that, guys. You've only lost 14,000 with a total of 15,000 men. I mean, it's only men, right? It's only men. No one cares about men. But, uh, let's see. Two, oh, two divisions. Yeah, two divisions. Yes, two divisions. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, we could probably attack here. They have two divisions. I can probably swing these guys over. Have a good time with everyone. Take one guy as well. Just gotta be very careful about the way you attack. Um, there's really not a... L oh, what did you do there? That is an interesting move. A, maybe a pro gamer move? I don't know. I'm gonna exploit that since we still have... Oh, look at the organization, but even the... Strength level is just kind of dropping as they're getting attacked by robots. These robots are pretty good. They're not perfect. They're only 20 combat width, but oh my goodness. Oh, oh yeah, definitely attack here next. Which means, and you can attack here, which means you can attack here. Which means something else. Oh, but that division attack this way of all places. Uh, give me those two divisions to attack here. Then we can attack this direction and follow it up with two divisions from two different tiles. Slowly encroaching on my enemy's territory. Yeah, over here is not a very good way we've set ourselves up. But that's okay. Because I believe in continual attacks. Unlike, well, not the same way as the Hoi 4 AI. It's already almost, it's already been 19 minutes into this video. Or close to that. Holy smokes. God, you just, you run out of time. Or, you know, time goes by so fast when you're enjoying yourself. Isn't that so unfortunate? That's so unfortunate. It's like when you're sitting in, sitting in class and you're a student, and you're in one of the most boring classes that you think is boring. It's just like, oh my gosh, will this ever end? But then you get to stuff like this, and you're like, please don't ever end, you know? It's just, time goes on so quickly when you're enjoying things. 
Oh, yeah, look at that. And get melted. Can these robots melt people? They might be able to. I put flamers on them. Or maybe at least the infantry I did. No, I put... I put grenades on my... Uh, infantry divisions. Uh, we could use more organization. Sure, why not? Yeah, good. Oh, wait, I need to do more resources stuff. But research speed. But better research speed. No, that's a year ahead. Let's go and do some more uh, resources. Five, two... Oh, construction only takes 0 .08 years? Yeah, I love construction. Yeah, definitely need more resources. Definitely. Oh, actually, we can't trade with a lot of people. Uh, our trade influence is too low, huh? I did not know that. If I kill them, can I have the resources? Is that too low for trade resources? I don't know. I keep thinking I hear something on my left side, but, you know, maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe it's just my water bottle sweating. Ah, uh, three divisions against one, that's a little bit too much, but if we even the odds out, 3v3, and they're already pretty weak, we might do okay. Yeah, I think it's just my water bottle sweating. Cool. Let's go ahead and move up this way. You guys move up this way. Uh, throw in another division that way. Resources. Doing even better on combat robots. Seven a day. That's pretty impressive. Oh, and they want to attack us again. Yeah. Using two divisions to attack two divisions you can't pierce. Not a great idea. Uh, soon, though, I will do a general push because this is taking a while. So, Even though we haven't gone that far into the game. It's only been like one or two months only. But this is a good exercise in learning how to take out enemy divisions, construct Imperial highways, very nice, Imperial refineries, civilian workshops, guns for the Emperor. Well then... I want to do this because that resource looks interesting, but I already have enough composite materials. Uh, Pre-war wisdom, electricity, yeah, I'll go with guns for the Emperor first. And, oh, I need to read that, actually. We'll let time go on. I don't think they can really beat us back. So, uh, everyone in every, ever one in Mexico, that's a typo, loves the Emperor. With more guns, we can remind them of that. Ah, I completely agree. Absolutely, completely agree. Let our guys move around the cabin a little bit. Oh, we actually have a hole here. Interesting. But that doesn't matter since we closed that hole. Closed our holes. Thank you very much. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover. I gotta remind myself that sometimes some of you guys are miners. Yeah, from the demographics, I can see on my analytics page. Maybe I should avoid saying some things. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. But, you know, I haven't been arrested yet, and I hope I never will be for being a lawful peaceful citizen of the United States of America. Even then, that could get you thrown into jail, so you're really never safe. Anyways, um, you know what? Let's have a little bit of fun. We're not going to go extreme. Let's have, let's have a balanced plan. Let's see what happens. So far, I don't see any green because the green, for the most part, is already gone. So I'm feeling a little good about that. Do we have any extra planes? No, we don't. At least any close air support planes because they're doing okay. Now, I'm going to tell you guys to come up this way, split these guys off and just a little bit. Uh, actually, do that. Split you guys off like this. Take the fighters and come over here because he has a fuller army. And divvy up the way we attack because obviously the enemy doesn't have air superiority. The AI, and at least Old World Blues at the current moment, isn't the most ingenious. But I do want some more soft attack and hard attack from propulsion charge advancements. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Oh, frag grenades. Who needs frag grenades when you got grenade rifles? Did I miss anything about comments? I don't think I did. That's okay. Oh, yeah, this is. I should have done this a little bit earlier, but it was fun playing around with their boys that are now 20,000 dead. Jesus Christ. Last time we lost like 700. 473. Now we've only lost 481. Oh, my goodness. Screw it. Go ham. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we actually even made another infantry division. Good, good, good. Go ahead and go down south. Uh, did I... Oh, I might have grabbed two divisions at once. Yeah, go ahead and defend that border. They have one, 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 ten, five. Uh, four, six, seven. Bunch, bunch, bunch. Oh, my God. This is going to be a terrible fight. Just don't go to war with me until I'm done with my own war. And they're doing construction repair. Here. All right. Well, really, once this war with the Rio Grande is over, I want to try to be able to take out as many small nations as possible like normal. 
Don't worry about Kaiser's Legion because the NCR, or the people, everyone in the NCR is killing off Kaiser, which is very interesting to watch. I'm not too worried about them, our fight with them in the, in the eventual end. I'm just worried about this. I'm actually fairly worried about it. Um, yeah. Actually, guys, you could move your planes up. That might be good for everyone. And, oh, crap. This is right. Oh, this is not good. They can exploit the line here. Uh, forgot about that stupid Texas Arms Association. But it doesn't really matter if we can take out this group first. If we can take out the Republic of the Rio Grande, the TAA will just capitulate as well, which is actually very, very important. Losses, obviously, we've suffered like 12 more losses. They've lost 6,000 more. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, definitely move in here quickly. I cannot afford this to happen. Come on, guys. Advance faster. Get up to glory as fast as you possibly can. Jesus. Oh, and there's other areas that they want to advance into, too. Oh, that's not good. Keep them stationary. Even if we don't win the battle, just keep them stationary for now. And if you can win the battle, that's great. Like, that's really great. Infantry won't be able to win the battle down here, I, I think, so... Yeah, go ahead and come down here as fast as possible. These guys are merely a distraction. Guns for the Emperor. Now we have literal, not metaphorical, power to the people. Who needs constitutional rights when you have a light bulb? Amen. My thoughts exactly, my friends. Who needs constitutional rights? Oof. Uh, if you can attack this way, you can surround and just destroy all these divisions. Yeah, go ahead and do that. This is going to be a problem. Um, but once we get up to Gloria, it, this probably won't be an issue. Just go ahead and push. Okay, everyone. Oh, you're already going ham. Um, if you can go more ham, like Turkey, that'd be good. Oh, good. You're attacking down here. That's actually really good for us. Well, maybe not. That's not good. What if I told you to attack? Robotic extraction. All right. More resource gain efficiency. Now we'll do the same thing with electrical extraction. We got robots before we used electricity. Genius. Good distraction. Um, we got some holes here. Not good holes. You don't need both going that way. Go this way. Make them all confused. Oh, crap. What the heck? Downfall. Wait. Oh, crap. I clicked that too fast. What was that? Oh, man. I knew it they didn't really have a description. Oh, we killed all those divisions down there. Oh, my gosh. 33,000 lost. Beautiful. And we took Gloria, which made this so much smaller. 94%. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, do that. Come on, guys. Move a little bit faster for me. Uh, we got extra factories that I can't really use at the moment. Boost that up by that much, which, which should be good enough. Come on, guys. Move faster, please. Uh, you guys move in this way. Texas Arms Association. How much manpower do they have? 15 and a half, or 15,000. Not bad, not bad. Crap, they have a new capital down here. Oh, I need that tile. So, I'm going to take the tile. If they take all this up, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you hold. Yes, I know I have a tech up here. Um, land Doctrine. We're already done with the Land Doctrine. Specialized divisions. We might as well do that. Cool. Make sure they just can't move too much. If they take Rancho Prospero, that might not be good for us. And have we done it? We might have done it. Ah, there we go, my friends. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, yeah. Good. Just go ahead and take all those states. I don't... Texas, you're part of Mexico, right? Your Texas is literally like a Mexican... It's an American version or English version of saying Me Tejas or something like that. So, this is just normal. This is normal stuff. Uh, definitely get more, more planes, which ruins everything else. So, come down here. And do that. So we're still producing maybe some ships. That's actually really cool. But we did it. Great. Um, and actually, once we're done with this focus, now we have unlocked pretenders to the crown, which will be great. Now we have to think about other places that we can take out as well. Now, how long would it take to take out this group? Because I don't know how long we have before these guys go to war with us down here. Um, definitely increase that by a little bit first. Free fighters. What about the, this cartel? Could we take these guys out? That might be important. We might want to try that. A lot of manpower, a couple divisions. Nothing that we can't take, though. Especially if there's only this tiny land area where they would have to attack us from. 
In the meantime, I doubt Kaiser is really going to declare war on us, or Las Grangas, Grangas, however you pronounce that. So let's do that. Over here, these guys should be able to hold propulsion charge advancements. Nice. For now, just go ahead and defend the border down here, too. Um, grenade machine gun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I can core all this stuff, but in, in the end, I will core it. Uh, for this, we might need a few more of this. Do we need forts? Baby, yes we do. Yes we do. Scooby dooby doo. I'm going to build up a lot of infrastructure down here anyways. I know in the end that this will all get taken care of. But whatever, I'll do it anyways right now as we're preparing for our another war justification goal and stuff like that. Metal? I don't need... A t I need a lot more metal. Yeah, I definitely need that. We might actually produce some more of that. We got platoon training. Metal. There's really no good place to build metal. Down here, down here, over here. Do three of those. I guess four, technically. Factory-wise, we're doing okay. I mean, I really don't need that many more factories. Up north, we're definitely going to need some radar. I think that's pretty good for now. Yeah, just factories in general. We don't need that much. Build maybe a dockyard two, three of those guys around here, and just to say, for good measure, we'll build some more military factories as well, get some more research going, soft attack, yeah baby, and let the time go on, look at that, Imperial Mexicano, very nice, mm. done with coffee, done with composites, mm. composites, 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 resource efficiency gain, Light robots, very nice. Greatly use you to an extreme effect. Now, if we go to war with these guys, they're they're not at war with anybody, and the cartel should be destroyed in the end. They have 25 divisions. I could probably bait these guys in by attacking them early, but I can't forget to build some airbase, as well as... Eh, that's, that'll be important too, but... If I go out gung-ho with enough aircraft, we should be okay in just pushing them away. It looks like they have ghouls with guns. Mm. Always drink water, kids. It's good for your teeth after you have coffee and tea. And even if you're not a kid, it's still good advice. But you don't have to take it if you don't like it. You know, to each their own, some would say. Um, roll out technology to scavengers. At this point, sure, why not? Ooh, a scavenger for old world tech? Well, that's okay. I'm not really building too many factories. Yeah, metal plants and stuff, but... We already have 246. I have 128 civilian factories. Some are damaged, sure, but those will come online eventually. Um, yeah, we're still building uh, outposts, which is very, very important. This war that we're going to have might be massive, because they have a lot of divisions, but it might not be massive, because they don't have a lot of manpower. Interesting. But let's do pretenders to the crown. The Maximilian siblings that think... Maximilian siblings, things, they can rule Mexico. Well, they probably mean think they can rule Mexico, but they are called emperors? No. So how can they rule? Um, darn. I already took them out, guys. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. I th would hope that these focuses would skip, since I technically already made this a core. Um, hopefully these will skip. I just want to see, let's get through this first and get to see if, any one of these focuses will also skip at the same time, just because I've already reunited my daddy's lands, well, most of it, and already took over a small portion of Texas, so I'm feeling pretty good about how we're doing. But let's, before we end, how is this war going between the Legion and New Vegas? Holy crap! That's a lot of casualties! The NCR, Jesus Christ! I mean, that's not a small amount for Kaiser, but basically double the casualties? Guys... At some point, you got to ask yourself, do the ends justify the means? I mean, for the most part, I would probably say yes. Oh, they're out of manpower. That's not good. The NCR is out of manpower as well. That's not good. NCR Rangers have a little bit left, but Kaiser has just a smidgen left. 153 divisions. Uh, oh, that's a lot of divisions. New Vegas has some. Oh, my goodness. So they're attacking basically without any extra manpower. This will be very interesting to see. I don't think Kaiser can really come back from this. And as you can tell, the game is running fairly slowly at this point so please kill off one of these nations so we might see a return of Kaiser's Legion actually maybe that's really up in the air at the current moment 
Um, do we want more manpower? Do we want more immigrants? <clears throat> well, who are we going to kill first? Well, we're going to kill the Sinol Sinaloa Cartel. So we're going to ask him for immigrants before we kill them all. Cool. Pretenders to the crown. Uh, we'll just do an end to human sacrifice because we took that one out first. Moctezuma and Maximilian both claim to be humanitarians, but they understand that term quite differently. No! The focus doesn't skip, and that's all the time for we have today. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that's a lot of negative political power, but that's, like I said, all the time we have for today. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord because we help post some interesting discussions in Discord and a picture or two. And I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I hope you ha all have a great, great day.